five one light portrait setup in studio in under 10 minutes. And joining me today for is Tia. I will put Tia's link in the description below. Let's get straight into setup number one. This is one of the most common setup that you will see when it comes to portrait photography. And that is having your light at about a 45 degree angle and pointing downwards onto your model. For camera, I'm using the Sony a7 IV paired with the Tamron 28 to 75. So the first thing you wanna do is establish your actual ambient exposure. So for us, we're gonna turn the lights off. So the lights are off and then we're gonna take a shot. So you need to work out whether you want any of the light within the room actually affecting your shots. So at a setting of ISO 100, f-stop at 7.1, and shutter speed 200, I'm pretty much getting a black frame. That way I know the light that's actually illuminating Tia is the light that we put on or the light that we are using. So if we put our light on now with those settings and Tia is about, I wanna say about five feet away from the light just for reference purposes. And let's take a test shot, one, two, three. Perfect. And this is the exposure we get with that setup. Really nice, really simple. One way you can actually modify the setup is by either adding a foam board or a V flat, which is what we will do next. We are going to be using the white side for this setup. So if we tear back in the same position, same pose, okay. And then we take the same shot again. You will see how that opens up the shadow. So before, after, it just really opens up the shadow. Up. Like it, girl, I like it. Number two, this time round, we have moved our light slightly round. So now we're coming from a 45 degree angle, slightly behind here. So where she's gonna be positioned is just on the edge of this light facing this way. The one thing to be conscious of, of this setup is your position of your model, because this is going to be super dramatic. That being said, our light settings is exactly the same. We haven't changed anything. So let's take a shot now and show you what this looks like. Go ahead, let's take a shot. And this is what that lighting setup looks like. As you can see, it's really dramatic. It's also important to pay attention to where your model's hair is. Uh, if you were using this setup with, if Tia had back, you will see much more light on her actual face. What I would personally do is ask the model to turn slightly more towards the actual light. So you'll be facing more towards the wall. So right there, there, perfect. But yeah, but still kind of that's your, that's your sweet spot. And then we go ahead and take some shots again and you'll see the difference. So nose back a little bit. Okay. See, now you start to get a bit more light into the face. And just to add similar to what we did with a previous setup, we can either use a foam board or a V flap to bounce some light back into the shadow area, which is what we're gonna do now. And I'm gonna place this slightly parallel to the light that's coming from there. <laughs> Go and then so turn in a little bit right there. Okay, I like it. One, two, three. Okay. 
and this is how the lighting look with that particular setup. So for setup number three, we've brought our light to the front and we've also kept it at a 45 degree angle. So ideally what I'm going to be doing is being like here in front of the light and the light's going to be shooting straight over me. What's good about this setup is, is because of the direction of the light, it's going to define the cheekbones, the jawline really nicely. So, so our camera settings, again, I haven't made any tweaks. Still at 7.1. ISO 100 and a shutter speed at 200. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And pose again for me. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Lovely. So you see really nice, really nice contrasting light. I like it, girl. I like it. I like it, girl. I like it. Kick, 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 girl. For setup number four, we've gone for an overhead lighting setup. So let me break it down for you. Same softbox, same light. All I'm doing now is placing the light above Tia and slightly away from her. I don't want her to be exactly under the light because what that's going to do is cast unwanted shadows and create what's called raccoon eyes simply because of the position of the light. So by placing her at the edge of the light, so if you come forward slightly, and I can see how the light is looking simply because of the modeling light on this particular flash. So I'll know where I want to position her and when I've got her in the right spot. Our camera settings is F8, ISO 100 and our shutter speed is at 200 of a second and these are the shots we're getting with this setup so more more um, work it, good. beautiful and there's one little thing you can do to, to this setup just to give it a little bit more life so to try and add some light back into the shadow areas I'm going to add you know what our reflector slash foam board and then similar so go towards the side and stuff for me go back a little bit right there good perfect good so one two three gorgeous bring your hands up yep good exciting more higher go and look how beautiful that lighting is absolutely gorgeous that lighting beautiful setup number four with setup number four we've taken our softbox off and we're going to be utilizing the bear bulb we're also going to utilize two foam boards you can again do this using v flats so we're going to shape it like this like a v and then we're going to place our light inside essentially what this is going to do it's going to bounce into the the foam boards bounce into the ceiling bounce around the studio again because we're in a smaller space and it's predominantly white you're going to get a lot of fill and what this setup is going to do is give you something similar to shooting with natural light our final settings is a 5.6 iso 160th of a second and our shutter speed is at 200 of a second and these are the results Let's go ahead grab a couple okay, just you can move around different poses go side angle give you more gorgeous you want to go from the back as well pm come back like like you turn yes beautiful gorgeous beautiful gorgeous beautiful gorgeous. Let's have a look at those. That is such a beautiful lighting because um, it just fills in the shadows 
gives you like a really nice look to the shot. So yeah, that is five setups in under 10 minutes. Let me know which one you guys prefer and which one you try out. I wanna say a massive thank you to Tia. She's gonna be on that camera. <laughs> gonna be on that camera. Massive thank you to Tia for joining us today. I'll put Tia's link in the description below. Me and Tia is gonna go take some shots now. So we'll catch you guys in the next one.